Arpeggio exercise over a 1-4-5 in A. Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another lead guitar tutorial. Today you might notice a change of scenery. Uh, right now we're doing some really big renovations down in my basement studio, most notably putting down some new concrete floors, removing some asbestos and also some old lead stuff. So um, the place is torn apart right now, so for the time being I'm back to being a bedroom picker. So for today's lesson I'm going to be breaking down some very useful arpeggio patterns over a 1-4-5 progression in the key of A. And My hope is this is going to inspire some melodic possibilities in your soloing. I got a full tab for you at patreon.com slash lessons. Become a member there and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's get started. Okay, close look at the fretboard, breaking down your first arpeggio, A major. It's going to look and sound like this. Okay, real slow. So that was 5 to 9 on the low E string, it's the 1 and the 3 of this key. So remember, we're only looking for 1s, 3s, and 5s. That's the triad, the three notes that make up a major chord. So again, 5 to 9. Now with the middle finger, I'm going to the A string and the D string, 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, so 1, 3, 5, 1 are your intervals there, very important. Okay, next we're going back to the major third on the sixth fret of the G string, then to the ninth fret, and then a downstroke, skipping strings to the fifth fret of the high E string. Okay, real slow now we have five, nine, seven, seven, six, nine, five. Of course, those are your fret numbers. Your intervals are one, three, five, one, three, five, one. Then we're going to travel back and then stop on that first major third that we played. So over A major one more time real slow. Okay, now we're moving on to the arpeggio for D major. It's going to look and sound like this. Okay, so starting on the A string, we have 5 to 9, just like we did before. And then we're going to play 7, 7, 7. D string, G string, and B string. Okay, and it's going to be with one finger, just the middle finger. Okay, and my right hand, I'm playing down, up, and then I'm just going to drop, drop, drop uh, with down strokes or rest strokes. Okay, as I go through the D, G, and B string. Alright, then I'm going to go to the 5th fret of the high E string, and then do an upstroke as I reach for the 10th fret, a D note here, on the high E string. Put all that together and we have. Then I'm going to go backward. Alright, and stop right there, back on that major 3rd in the key of D, the ninth fret of the A string. So far you have two arpeggios to put together. A major. D major. And now we're moving on to E major, which will sound like this. Okay, so for this one we're starting on the 7th fret of the A string, that's your E note, the root. Then we're going to find the major 3rd on the D string 6th fret. Okay, so... Alright, then I'm going to go up to the ninth fret with the same finger, and then bar across the D string, G string, and the B string to set up the remainder of the major triad, E major. Okay, so far you have... Now I'm going to go to the G string, and the B string, then take my pinky and play 12th fret B string, 12th fret high E string. 
You put all that together and we have. All right, then go reverse. All right, and then I'm gonna play the 11th fret of the A string. That's your entire arpeggio over the E chord. Okay, then we're just gonna finish it up with one more arpeggio over A major, this time in C position. Let's play what you have so far, going from A to D to E. First with A major real slow. D major. E major. Now we're ready to start our final arpeggio. It's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, so we're outlining that C shape. We have 12 on the A string, 11 on the D string, nine on the G string, uh, 10 on the B string, nine on the high E string, 12 on the high E string. Okay, you put that together and we have. And again, you can let that pick just drop down the strings. All right, then finally slide up to the 17th fret for a high A note to end this practice routine. Okay, let's put that entire thing together now at a nice slow tempo. Starting with the A major chord, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lead guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and be sure to hit that bell so you can get notifications for my new tutorials. Big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.